Hi, this is Kim from KimberlyKohler.com and today I wanted to give you a little update on my mini binder art journal. I have two previous videos that I'll link to the blog post below where I shared an introduction to what I was planning on doing and then my first pages and now I'm just going to show you another week's worth of art journal pages that I've made in this mini binder art book. I have just continued along. I'm just making whatever I feel like making each day. Maybe I think of an idea, there's a quote that has inspired me, or I just grab some paint, whatever I want to do. So I'm going to show you what I've done. So I'm just going to flip through. If you don't like the kind of meandering talking discussion I have, going on here, you can just click over to the blog post and you can just look at the pictures and save yourself some time if you prefer. So actually first let me show you, this is the book, I know it's white on white here, but this is just a plain little binder, it's like half the size of a regular binder and I got this at Target and I talked a little bit about that at the introduction. So, I still have not done a cover, and I can do a cover, it's just going to slip in. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, so, here's where we left off. So, this is a postcard, you may have seen these previously, and then I have a quote on the back of it. These two pages kind of go together. So, there's a quote here, there are always flowers for those who want to see them, Matisse. And then I did watercolor, and then I drew this little flower. This is something I like to do a lot, so I think you've probably already seen this in this art journal before. And then I made myself a little reminder, kind of based on this quote, to remind myself to look for the flowers everywhere. They are there if you look. So it's basically a reef framing of this quote, but in my own words, I reminded myself and I drew this. This was fun. I bought some chalk markers and originally I thought they would be the erasable kind that I can use on my chalkboard, but they actually are non-erasable and it said so right on the package, but they actually work really well on top of watercolor, so I will be experimenting with them a little more. Okay, so this is an example of my terrible drawing, but just doing it anyway. I'm not great at drawing, but I wanted to draw some of the little creatures. We went to a park and ran into some creatures, and I also I actually have this feather um, that I picked up along the way. I'm pretty sure it's a hawk feather. And um, a little sn we saw it wasn't a little snake, it was a big snake and a turtle and a butterfly. So I just sort of painted some of these things. Interestingly enough, I used to be petrified of snakes for most of my entire life. Recently I've decided that I don't want to be afraid of snakes anymore. And just because we hike a lot and where I live there are snakes all over the place, so I don't want to be paranoid every time I'm going for a hike, so I decided that I was going to work on it, and I've really done nothing major except to change my mindset that snakes actually aren't that scary. And so this guy was crawling right across the path, my husband jumped, <laughs> I shouldn't call him out on a video, and I was just like, oh, there's a snake. I did not panic or anything, and in fact, I took a picture of the snake. In the past, I would have froze probably run away, we probably would have gone home, but we kept going. But anyway, so I just want to encourage you in your art journal, even if you can't draw and you want to give it a try, give it a try. So I, I drew them and then I painted them with watercolor. I do like the feather, but the rest of this isn't that great. But, you know, I'll keep trying. This page is really fun. Um, I actually saw this prompt from somebody on Instagram and I just decided to go for it, so it was just five good things. I just wrote down five good things for that day. The background is watercolor, and this was actually really fun. I just took masking tape. You could use washi tape. 
and put it on my page and then painted the watercolor, waited for it to dry, and then pulled up the tape to leave these stripes. And I did it kind of back and forth a little bit, kind of triangles, you could do it straight too. So this was kind of a fun little prompt. I might even write about this on my blog and go more into depth. But my favorite animal is the great blue heron, or at least it is right now. It changes from time to time. And I love, it's so delightful when we go somewhere and find one. And we went to this park, this is a photo I took, and I actually got photos. I often see blue herons, I wouldn't say often, Usually when I see a blue heron, I see it, but I don't get a picture of it because they take off immediately and they're so fast. But in this case, I got this great shot of this blue heron flying. So then I got to thinking, I'd like to know more about blue herons. I don't really know much about them. So I just sort of Googled and got some information about them, where they live, what they eat. I couldn't believe that they nested in trees and I'm going to actually show you another little day trip my husband and I took. I actually saw that once I knew they nested in trees, I saw, well we saw white herons and I actually found their nest in a tree and it is astonishing because these birds are huge. So. And, but they're actually light, as if you can read this, it says they only weigh five to six pounds. So they're really big, but they're really light. So this is an idea. If you really like an animal, maybe put a picture and some facts about it. This background is my, is watercolors. And then on the back, I just listed some things about blue herons that I really appreciate from my set like from my own mind not that I googled so the next page the background is craft paper this is very minimalist very simple and this is just a project life card and this is just a quote um, that I have I, I have some quotes printed out that I go through and sometimes add them to pages and that sort of thing so that's it's that page really simple so this page is kind of a day in my life <laughs> my husband took me we both actually had a day off in the summer it's hard for us my husband works a lot and we often do not have days off together but we had a day off together and i just did a little drawing of everything we did that day we and then on this side are some um, receipts for things. And then these are some feathers I picked up as well from that trip. So I really like collecting memorabilia from little things we do. Sometimes it's just a walk I took. I find feathers all the time and I like to keep them. Sometimes it's receipts things like that. Just I just like to gather them up and I can put them in here. And I really like this flexibility of this binder because I can just put these pages in if I want. And my whole mindset about this project is just kind of whatever I want to do each day, I'm just going to do. So there's that. Okay, and so this is something else I saw somebody did on Instagram. Basically a list of what's not working and what is working. And so it's just that's all this is. I just did some watercolor on the back and just drew a little grid and listed out what was working and what wasn't working. So here is a page. This is another kind of everyday ephemera page. Um, the background is actually acrylic paint and I just was playing around and painted that one day and I just set it aside. I didn't really like the page necessarily as itself, but I just sort of kept it. And we went to Community Aid, which is a um, thrift store, and then it's a charity too. So we bought some clothes and the, the, the tags are colorful, so I thought they would look cool on a page themselves. So that is that. And like I was saying before, I gather feathers a lot. This is just from one day from a walk. 
So I stuck them in there. Background is watercolor. I hope you enjoyed this update. Remember, there's pictures over at my blog. I will put the link below the video. And have a great week.